new beginnings. Today I accept the changes and fresh starts that are awaiting me. I fully embrace the opportunities that are being presented to me. I flow along the waves of change, for they are always helping me fulfill my life's purpose. Radioactive! Radioactive! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. It is Monday morning, my first day home. Came home from the hospital yesterday. It was nice to be discharged from the hospital on Father's Day. After a week, I was missing my family and, and it's just, it was nice to get home and it was a great homecoming. Before leaving the hospital, I was hopeful and confident about the future. Optimistic, you could say, about you know, quickly transitioning back to my old self, feeling like my old self easing back into my work schedule and getting back to doing what I do. Now that I am home, I know it's early days and I shouldn't be beating myself up, but I realize that that transition is going to be a lot harder than I thought. I'm faced with a lot and a lot has changed in, in just a week. I'm going to do the best I can, but I am I'm battling. I'm going, there's a lot of things I'm going through right now. It's mental, it's physical too. I'm just gonna have to take, you know, each day, day by day, and just one day at a time. And I'm on a lot of medications, and my diet has to change. And there's gonna be a lot of clinic tests and doctor visits over the next couple of weeks and a couple of months. And I know it's going to take a while for me to get back to my old self as far as my routine, training, and, and things like that. But I was eager and confident that I could quickly get back with clients. And I, I still believe that I can, but I don't think it's going to come as quick as I thought. Um, just walking around the house, I'm still very dizzy. I'm trying to get used to the medications. I'm trying to, there's no room for error, so I'm trying to. My wife's really helped me schedule my my medication. There's so many medications that and I take this on certain days and uh, this one at certain times, and and there's just no room for error. So I'm just trying to get routine with my meds, and I'm constantly because I have to. I'm monitoring my blood pressure, and I'm on three different kinds of blood pressure medication. I'm on antibiotics, anti-rejection medication. I'm on prednisone, which is a steroid, which is really. I'm not liking it at all because, well, you know, it's uh, all you want to do. All you, all you want to do when you're on the steroids is eat. So I'm trying to control my appetite, and I don't want to put on weight. And the steroids will do that to you. Um, I've already uh, blown up in the face. You can see I have like a moon face, and uh, I'm retaining a, lo a lot of water. I mean, for example, I mean, just look at my feet. My feet are so swollen and blown up. I can't even put my shoes on. I mean, look how big my feet look. And it's like that all over my body, my arms, my hands, my face. And uh, I'm just feeling disgusting with myself. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of things. I, I know it's early days, and I'm trying to stay positive. And I'm trying to adjust now from, you know, what was going on in the hospital to now I'm here at home. And, uh, It's a lot. So I'm at home today by myself. Wifey's back at work. She missed a lot of days being at the hospital with me and uh, she can't lose her job. So she's back at work. Little ones at daycare. And um, my mother-in-law just dropped by to bring me lunch. She's the best. She really is. She's so sweet. Here's what I have. I've got white rice with some carrots, some celery, some onions and chicken that was boiled so it's very clean very healthy and it fits in line with my diet and just trying to keep my strength up and so she brought me lunch and she took the trash out for me so family is everything and I have a great mother-in-law she has always been there for me she's the sweetest thing in the world so it's Monday evening what have I been up to today just trying to adjust move around a little more taking it slow I feel like I've been taking drugs all day I'm on so much medication. 
And gravity's not your friend when you're swelling, and you've already seen what my feet look like. So I'm sitting here now with my feet up on a bar stool, trying to keep my feet elevated above my heart. So take that, gravity. Um, just my feet, they're very swollen and, and painful, and they feel like they're about to explode. So I'm trying to elevate, and I'm probably going to do some type of foot bath. And hopefully it helps reduce some of the soreness. It's going to take a while, but that's really bothering me. A few days ago, it was time for my assessment. If you remember, I was inside of a cut. I was tipping the scale. I was getting leaner. Body fat was coming down. We were on track. There's no way in hell I'm jumping on a scale now. And my goals have definitely shifted. We can't focus on a cut. Hell, I can't train for a while. My focus now, all of my energy has to be on recovery. I need to get back to where I was. And you know, inside of my cut, I'm trying to get to the next level. Now I just need to get back to the level I was on. And that's not gonna come easy, I know that. I thought I could at least get back to work with clients this week. But man, reality hit hard. And I know I'm not ready this week, but I'm making a goal for myself to get back with all of my clients. Looking at my calendar here. Today's the 21st. On the 27th, which is Monday of next week, I want to be back to work with all of my clients. They've been so patient and all of them have just been amazing. The support. Every client on my roster has reached out numerous times, just checking in with me constantly keeping my spirits up, letting me know, hey, Jay, we're still following our meal plans. We're, st we're still getting our workouts in. We're still, you know, motivated and we're waiting for you and you take your time. And that means the world to me. So guys, thank you to all of my clients that have, you've, you, you've just been amazing and, and you've been patient and, and you're waiting for me and I will return. And I need to do this. I need to set a goal for myself. I, I, I need to spend the next couple days, the rest of this week, to, to recover, get my mind right, try to adjust quickly. And it's just going to mentally do more for me and help me recover faster if I can get back to work and, and do what it is that I do. And so that is my goal. Next Monday, I'm going to do all that I can to start back with my clients, get back into my work schedule. And hopefully that will just uh, help me recover quicker and uh, keep me from going insane. It's time to monitor my blood pressure again. Before I take my medication, kind of see where I'm at. Medication has kept things stable for me. So, let's see. Okay, not too bad. Time for my blood pressure medication. My wife is so cute. She texts me from work. Little reminders. Hey, it's time to take your pills. Check your blood pressure. I mean, she's taking so, so really good care of me. Oh, I tell you. All right, two different blood pressure medications.
It's also a time to take, take uh, this swish and swallow. It just helps. Uh, it's antifungal, prevents infection in the mouth. So I have to take this like four freaking times a day. Whoa. Five ml of this stuff here. It tastes okay. It's not all right. It's, it's, you know, it's just okay. Swish and swallow. Elevated my feet again. I look like a pregnant woman. Ah. So years ago when I was on dialysis, I had to follow a very strict diet, the renal diet. And now that my transplanted kidney is, isn't working optimally, I don't want to stress it any more than it's been stressed and damage it any more than it's been damaged. So... To give it a fighting chance, I'm trying to follow the renal diet. Do I fear the unknown? You know, fear only has two meanings. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. And I choose to rise. <laughs>